You probably keep asking yourselves why the picture or video quality you get from your phone camera aren't always as good as the company's promise. Well, it might just be because of what you are doing or what you are not. That's why in this video, I'm going to give you four key things to do or not do when shooting pictures or taking videos with your phone. Check it out. Also, there's a surprise at the end of this video, so make sure you don't miss out on that. The first and most important thing you want to do is always clean your phone camera lens right before you hit that record or shutter button. Yes, as basic and obvious as that sounds, that's probably like the most important step filmmakers like myself take when shooting on a full-on DSLR or a mirrorless camera. The last thing you want is after hours of shooting a video, you realize that your footage is blurry because lenses have the tendency of trapping dew or even dust sometimes. You notice that phones don't come with lens caps like normal camera lenses do, so regularly cleaning your phone lens right before you hit that record button suffices for that. Now I've got three more way interesting tricks that you should really consider when filming on your phone but before we continue this video was sponsored by Rise Up Games. If you've not heard of them, they are a software developing company that made the very own ProShot app I use in most of my videos I shoot on my phone and I'm currently shooting with the app right now. And they were very kind enough to give every single one of you a huge percentage of the price on the App Store and the Play Store. So stick around to the end of the video to find out more about that. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. Now the second thing you want to make sure you are doing is recording on the highest quality possible or available on your phone. Now the 1080p footage from an iPhone X will most definitely not compare to the 1080p footage from a Canon 5D Mark IV or a Sony A7 III. But maxing out your shooting resolution will most definitely give it an edge over someone filming on a 720p or a 480p. Do people still record in 480p though? I used to literally back up and reset my 16 gig iPhone just to be able to get enough space to shoot some videos. Also know that on iPhones, when you're shooting at 1080p 240fps and 4K 60fps, it will change your video codec from a H.264 format to a HEVC more compressed format, which really isn't a big deal unless you're editing on a not so capable laptop like this guy. But a simple way you can fix that file format is by re-encoding it in an encoding software like Adobe Media Encoder or other capable softwares out there. Now the third thing you want to make sure you are not doing is using selfie sticks in place of gimbal. I've seen some people do this and to be honest I'm at fault myself. It seems like a reasonable thing to do but it's not. You actually have a higher chance at getting way more stable shots if you go handheld. This was something Daniel Schiffer brought to the table and it has changed the way filmmakers look at simple handheld shots. And there are three simple tricks to taking stable handheld shots on your phone. Number one is shooting at a higher frame rate. Now frame rate is basically how many frames there are in a second of a video. And the higher your frame rate, the smoother your footage. And actually talks more about this in my iPhone 8 camera review. If you've not seen that, I'll put a card at the end of this video so you can check that out. The second trick to taking way more stable handheld shots with your phone is your grip. Now in order to get the best motion using your phone, you have to hold about 80% of the device. This way you have total control of your phone movement and you can be able to minimize any shakes. Brandon Lee shared one of his grip techniques when he explained the stabilization on the ultra wide lens of the iPhone 11. I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below. The third trick to taking more stable handheld shots on your phone is your movement. Now after hitting the record button, you can't just move your phone anyhow and expect a stable footage. Even when using gimbals, your motion still has to be somewhat steady. So when you're using your phone, you have to move with your body. This is simply controlling your phone movement with your upper body instead of just using your hands. And you want to make sure you're not too fast or too slow when you're doing this to get the best result. Now if you didn't know, I've been using the ProShots camera app for about 80% of my mobile shots in the past year and I have no regrets whatsoever. That brings us to the fourth trick of this video, getting a third party camera app. Third party camera apps like ProShot gives you total control of your phone camera and this way you don't have to rely on the not so good autofocus or exposure that comes with the default camera that keeps blowing up your footage anytime you move your face. With this, you can manually change your shutter speed, ISO, white balance and even change your focus to manual. So I reached out to folks at Rise Up Games, the company behind the ProShot camera app and they were really kind, I mean, really really kind enough to give you guys a crazy 100% off the price on the app store and the play store 
yes the app is now 100% free for a whole week all you have to do is download the app with the different platform links i have provided down in the description below within seven days from this video's original release date after which it go back to its original price of $4.99 in the different app stores and that was it for today's video guys which of these steps did you find the most helpful let everyone know down in the comment section below if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer them down there as well also please give this video a thumbs up so more people like you get to see it on youtube and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos like this one and you will be helping me out a lot and i'll see you guys in my next one